Hi guys, happy Friday. So, as you can see, we are in my car, Mickey and I, because Mickey has to go to the vet and he keeps whining because he, he's doing this little whine. And uh, he doesn't know why he's leaving without his brothers. So we're in the car, I got a dog bed for him. I have his seat belt tether plugged into the uh, seat belt thing here connected to him so he can't jump out of the car or go flying if something happens or I have to slam on the brakes um, I think he needs a couple he needs a couple vaccinations but I can't remember what they are so I made an appointment and threw away the little postcard they sent telling me what he needed done so I can't even remember why we're going but I'm also gonna have him look over his teeth too um, just to check him over and see he's got anything going on in there so not that I think he does but he's the one like I said had to get a lot of teeth pulled and he had gingivitis really bad so just want to get his teeth looked over okay guys we are gonna head to the vet so the vet is not a long drive from my house just pulled out of my house coming down the road here um, I'm probably gonna be early. Our appointment is at 1.45. It'll probably take me five minutes to get there. But I thought I would show you guys the snow. It's sunny. The temp is about, I think it's 16, but it said the real feel was 25, which feels like a heat wave after um, almost negative 40 wind chill. I'm almost hot in my coat. <laughs> getting Mickey in the car. I know it's probably strange to people who live down south. They probably hear 16 degrees and well here's what what does my car say? It says 18. I just pulled out of the garage though so it might go down. Um, schools are still closed today so um, it's today for, yeah today's Friday so they were closed all week long. Monday through Friday. Um, uh, Hopefully they'll be back Monday. We are supposed to actually get 40, almost hit almost 47 on Sunday. So all this is gonna start melting. Um, and then it's supposed to get cold again, so I'm scared it's gonna create ice on the roads, um, especially back roads, the country roads. But I, after I take Mickey to the vet, I need to um, work on our sidewalks and stuff because I don't want them to melt and then become an ice rink when it gets cold again. It's not supposed to get cold like it was, but it's supposed to get cold. But here's uh, more of a main road. Not really main road, but main road in the neighborhood. And they're, finally the salt is starting to uh, melt the snow and ice. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. They said it got that cold in, like 20 years ago or 22 years ago, 1996. I. That's the year I gave birth to my daughter. My daughter's 22. Yeah, so 22 years ago. I don't ever remember it being that cold. Um, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't at home all day. Maybe it didn't last as long. I'm not sure, but I just couldn't believe it. And I was so worried about these guys. So worried. So I'm glad it's over. I can handle negative 15. Um... I can't handle negative 37, negative 41 wind chill. That was just brutal. And then when they uh, sent out an alert that we had to um, turn our heat down and the, the power grid might go down, I was just like, where are we gonna go? I don't know anyone outside of our county where we could have went um, that may not have lost power if we did. I was thinking, where am I gonna take my six dogs? Okay, I can turn left now. Um, I was thinking, where am I gonna take us, family, plus six dogs and a cat to stay if we lose power? Because it would have just been, we, we have two propane heaters. My husband uses them in the garage when he smokes cigars. But I don't think that would have been sufficient in that weather. And I kept thinking, where are we gonna go? So I've really gotta start thinking about these things. You never know what can happen in life. Um, so yeah, but 16 degrees. Oh, my car says 14. Feels almost like a heat wave compared <laughs> to what we had. So I'm going to fast forward that. Well, no, I better not fast forward. I want to, I want you to see how close the bed is to me. Cause I just left our driveway when I started recording. Miggy, are you nervous? Are you still nervous? 
Yeah. I think after we go to the vet, I I don't like going to PetSmart with my dogs because you never know if a sick dog's been in there or not. And guys, whenever you go to PetSmart, don't buy anything off the bottom shelf. I've seen so many people, or so many people in there with their dogs, male dogs especially, and they pee on the stuff on the bottom shelves. So just an FYI, if you go to a pet store that, or any store that allows dogs in it, don't buy anything off of the bottom shelf. Okay, we're here at my vet, so we will see you when we get out. Well, it's been a couple hours since I took this guy to the vet. He's out there eating a um, bully slice. That's what Milo and Magnum are also eating. The other three are already done with theirs. I think Magnum and Milo traded bully slices because <laughs> I know Ma Magnum ate more than that. So I think they traded. They do that a lot with their stuff. Let me show you. Um, I got them at PetSmart. Let me show you the brand. It is by Red Barn. And I shared these... Oh, it's been a while now. Um, before Christmas. These have... Let me see the fat in these. 2% fat. So, they really like them. And I thought, why haven't I bought these? It was $15.99, I think, for that bag. No, $14.99, I believe, for that bag. So, anyways, I thought I would let you know how the vet visit went. Uh, let me sit down over here. So, the vet visit went good. Um, Miggy got his vaccination. He, I forgot he had to get a heartworm test too, so that went, was fine. It was negative. I had to buy some heartworm uh, medicine uh, for the dogs and the cat. Um, they looked over, I had him look over his teeth because if you remember, it was... Two years ago on Valentine's Day, so this Valentine's Day will be two years since Miggy had his dental work done. And if I remember right, he had like 17 teeth pulled uh, due to gingivitis. Because there's a lot of people, that's another question I had a lot of for the Q&A video. A lot of people wanted to know about teeth and are small dogs prone to having bad teeth. And yes, they are. I don't know exactly why, but they are. Um... And they said his teeth look great. They said besides um, just minimal tartar, his teeth look really good. So I'm very happy. They said there's nothing that we need to address. Um, they can see in the, you know, this year probably even, you know, next time he comes in, they'll take a look at him again. So um, they said whatever we're doing is doing good. And like I said, I do not brush their teeth every night anymore because my boys... <sighs> They're horrible about brushing their teeth. I barely do anything. The bully sticks in the dental bones and the chews I give them, like these bully slices, cow ears. Um, what else do I give them? Um, the Himalayan chews that I've given them lately, which there's one right here. Um, which the, the vet, I asked the vet about the Himalayan chews and they said they'd rather, her opinion is no, cause they're so hard, but, um, she said it's, it's all up to me. So, um, not sure if I'll get them again or not. I don't know. They really like them. Um, so anyway, his vet visit went good. They did say that he had... What do you want, Marley? What do you want, mister? Hmm? You want me to pet you? You need some pets? You need your face clean. I still have my towel and all the shampoos out from when I washed um, Miggy's beard to go to the vet. So I need to do these guys this too. I left it out. I came home from the vet. I think we got home about three because I went, checked my P.O. box, got all the ads and mess junk they put in there. Um, cleared that out and then went and got some lunch. Came back, ate lunch, played with the boys for a while, let them out, went out, picked up all the poops. Um, and I should say I chiseled the poops out of the hard snow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I took off to the store and it is now 6.52 I just got back about 20 minutes ago so it was nice to get out of the house and go do a little shopping and just browse and just be out of the house since I've been cooped up in the house due to the weather 
So, I mean, I did go out in the weather, but very minimal. <laughs> what I had to do. Um, there's a kitten. Oh, so oh, so I was saying as I before I got distracted, I was seeing they she did notice he's getting a little bit of cloudiness in the eyes. Um, Mazi is too. Um, I can't remember what she called it. I don't know. And she said something about it's like the early signs of maybe cataracts. I'm not sure if anybody has dogs with cataracts. Let me know. Um, when they start getting that cloudiness in their eyes, does that mean they're going to get cataracts? I should have asked her. Um, but she said, I guess if they get cataracts, you can have a um, specialist remove them. I'm sure that's pretty pricey. Has anyone had cataracts removed in their dog's eyes? Let me know in the comments and what it costs you. Um, because I'm pretty sure that's what, I'm pretty sure Mozzie, he's got some cloudiness in his eyes too. You can really notice, I can notice it more on Mozzie than I could on Miggy. Um, so Miggy's must be very early. And I know a lot of people have schnauzers that have went blind. And I'm assuming it's from the cataracts. I don't know. I really haven't researched that much. What are you guys sniffing over there? What are you sniffing, Milo? What are you sniffing? Hmm? You just being nosy? He's gonna get the kitty. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna try to chase the kitty. Let's see what the kitty does. Let's see if kitten swats him. Yeah. <laughs> he plays gentle with kitten, though. He likes to chase him. I think someone might have pulled in so these dogs might start barking. I don't know. He plays gentle with Kitten. He pretty much leaves him alone. Just to, if Kitten's jumping around and acting a little crazy, he'll want to get him. But pretty much my boys leave the cat alone. Look at, I think Kitten wants to play, actually. I think Kitten wants to play. He's waiting for Milo to turn around. Yeah, so anyways, just wanted to do an update on um, how the vet visit went for Miggy and let you guys know it is getting warmer here. I'm happy. Um, the sky when I came home from Meyer was like bright red with the sun going down and I'm like, that means warmer weather's coming. Now warmer, it means 40, <laughs> but think of that. That's like, so from negative 40 to 40 degrees. Think of that change and how that feels, uh, you know, it's going to feel like a heat wave. I bet you I see people out in sweatshirts <laughs> when I'm out and about this weekend. I bet you they'll just be wearing a sweatshirt. No hat, no gloves. That's how us Michiganders are, I tell you. Anyways, okay guys, I hope you all have a great weekend and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> see, I think Kitten's in a playful mood. I think he is. All right. Bye, guys.